Hey guys, uh, well today we're going to cover a great book uh, written about 2000 years ago uh, by Seneca on the shortness of life. Now this book was written in 49 AD uh, by Seneca. Uh, this is round about the same time as Jesus, just in another part of Rome. Now the first part of the book was written to his father, I think it was Paulinus when he was at the time he was a statement statesman um that being seneca and uh the person who was a roman emperor at the time was nero and the second part of the book was written to his mother uh this after seneca was exiled by nero uh, which is another story for another day now who was seneca um seneca was a philosopher and one of the very popular stoics now basically stoics um, are people who just believe in delaying pleasure um, basically the opposite of what today people will say yolo you only live once basically the opposite of that people who just delay gratification we often hear from people that life is short especially after like a funeral or something uh, well actually according to seneca life is long enough if you know how to use it we have been given a generous amount of it it's just that we waste much of it we wasted on useless luxuries uh, non-productive activities now as i said uh, this book was written about 2000 years ago but it's actually still relevant today this is just similar to like trust fund babies uh, who inherit wealth uh, where some of them uh, waste their wealth um, while others actually grow it and leave it for the next generation. Most people um, are usually very frugal in guarding their personal property. They will fight you for every inch if you encroach on their personal property. But they're very liberal and very giving of their time, which is something which you should be a bit more stingy of. Um, not realizing that uh, it's actually better to lose money than to lose time because you can actually never get back time but you can always make more money in the future sometime you have to be very stingy with your time because in old age when you look back um, you have to think of how much of your time was actually wasted on quarreling uh, mistresses uh, money lenders uh, being a slave to your job etc etc now most of us live as though we're going to live forever we never actually sit down and confront our mortality because majority of people plan to just work most of their youth and uh, defer um, uh, to old age or retirement but if you actually look the biggest time wasters um, is where you're spending all your time on drinking, on lust, and etc. etc. Uh, because no activity can be pursued with a preoccupied mind. Because a distracted mind can't absorb anything deeply, but rejects everything that you cram into it. Now you have to always constantly remember that everybody dies, but not everybody lives. Um, the reason for this is because it, it's as if most people are just winding down the clock waiting to die so when most people get to the, the time or age where they're about to die uh, they mostly don't want to die or they mostly just wish they had more time but if you actually think about it what's the point of that because even if you get more time what will you actually do with that time Will you still just continue winding down the clock um, up until the time where you die, where you're not really doing much, you're not really living? In, in such cases, I mean, if you actually look at it, death is actually much, it's actually more of a way out uh, because you're not really living. So what this book actually emphasizes is spending more, more time living and doing than actually just uh, wasting much of the time now 
the person who lives each day as if it's their last um doesn't re- necessarily doesn't really fear death because when death comes they would have lived each day as, as if they had, it's their last death. they would have maximized their time and done much more productive activity with it because if you think about it um we waste much of our time uh, with just the pursuit of just useless empty information uh you know useless empty information like uh, uh who's Kanye West uh, going to marry next or who's Kim Kardashian's uh next child or whatever useless information that people spend time on these days um you find information information like uh who was the most fastest run in the olympics five years ago i mean what's the bloody point of such a question